Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the official Plank exclusive stream of the century. This is a board that I've been looking forward to my entire life, I would say, and and it's it's definitely a, a very special kit. Uh, exclusive so so unique that mass drop only did like six rounds of but anyway this is a very this is a wildly popular 40 percent board and no it is not pronounced the plank uh, as some other sources might tell you it you should look it up real quick how do you okay google how do you pronounce P L A N C K? That's pronounced plank. Okay, Google, can you repeat that? I said, that's pronounced plank. Well, there you have it. Uh, and if you ask the designer and the creator of this keyboard kit, the plank keyboard. Oh, remind me not to turn this. Uh, hold on. And if you, and so they even asked the designer how it's supposed to be pronounced. And even he said plank. And you could see he was visibly uncomfortable with how, uh, when he was on uh, that stream, uh, he was a little uncomfortable with how they were pronouncing it as the plank. And they were trying to convince him. They were, they were basically arguing with him saying, that, yeah, but I can pronounce it as the plank, right? And the guy's like, uh, I guess, you know, like. You could call it whatever you want, you know, whatever. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like when, it's like when I go to a, an Asian restaurant and, you know, they say fried rice or something. And, because that's all that white people order anyway. Uh, say, say that's fried rice and, you know. And so I'm eating it with a fork and a spoon, and all the other Asians are eating it with a fork and a spoon. And then, you know, your one token white friend is eating it with chopsticks. And you're like, uh, you, you, you should try using a fork and a spoon, like it's better than that. No, no, no. I, I, I want to use chopsticks. Like, no, like, seriously, everyone here is, nobody wants to eat rice off a plate. You can use chopsticks when you're eating off a bowl, but if it's off of a plate... Just use a fucking fork in this spoon. Not just a fork. I've seen people try to use a fork to eat and they'll use their thumbs to push the rice into the fork. What are you doing, dude? Just use a fork and a spoon. Anyway, and then they're like, yeah, but, but I want to use chopsticks. I, I can use chopsticks, right? And you're like, I, I, I guess, you know, you look like an idiot, but you can, and you know, it's a free country. So if you want to pronounce it the plank, the plank, you know, they, they asked the, the plank designer, and he's like, oh, well, I guess and you could say it however you want. It's a fucking free country. But the designer calls it the plank. It's not like GIF and GIF where, you know, the White House disagrees with the design. Or I guess the design, the inventor disagrees with the official White House statement. Now this one, Google calls it the plank. The plank maker calls it the plank. The plank. The plank. And then they, they, they always say it with a p, the plank, plank. Anyway. So, pronunciation uh, aside, this is a, it's definitely the most popular 40% keyboard kit, uh, a, a bit more popular than, quite a bit more popular than, than other ones, uh, like the minivan. And so, <laughs> it's gonna make it. Uh, never mind. Uh, anyway, so anyway, let's look at the box. So this is not a true unboxing, as a it's it's been opened before, but we'll still see what they include. And I'm gonna say hi real quick to everyone. So Visionaire, PC Load Letter, Serizel, Daredevil, Dibbing Dick. Beatlocks, CRDSKT, Mr. Keebs, and don't forget to check out Mr. Keebs. Uh, I put the link in chat already. 
Zoology, Scoop BB. Who else is here? Poner. And how about it? How's it going? Trinity the Gamer as well. Yes. So the Plonk. The Plonk. Okay, so. Uh, I mean, the box is kind of cool. So this was shipped to me in the box, so it's got. I had to, to sharpie it off because I have my address on here still. So you can see it says Mass Drop uh, and OLKB. Plank keyboard kit, gunmetal case, uh, MX plate with XDA canvas betas and icon mods. Yeah, so the the, the boxes is is pretty nice. Davness, how's it going? Okay, so this one I believe is a local. So I believe round six came with. Uh, low profile and high profile options but the owner went with a low pro so a more classic look to the plank and i don't think there were rubber feet so let's put rubber feet on here real quick they were supposed to include it but i don't i, I opened the box i don't remember seeing anything Is that the pcb and, oh actually yes they're here so we get some f imitation stabilizers. We're not gonna use these. We're gonna use genuine cherry. And we get a nice braided white cable. This is actually pretty nice. It's more of a not really silver, but um, what's the word? Platinum, maybe? No, like a very light, you know, silvery white. And we get the plate with switch top removal. Okay, and so we get the instructions here as well. Again, the boxes is pretty interesting. You know, it's obvious that that they've spent a lot of time improving the, the the box and everything. You can see the box has all your instructions and everything. So you get screws, you get the switch plate, piece B. It says plug in the PCB to the computer. So we're gonna do that. And apparently there's a speaker on the, it's like a beeping one on the, on the PCB. So unleaded solder and a temperature of 600 degrees Fahrenheit recommended. I'm surprised that they're recommending unleaded. I wonder if they had to do that because of regulations or if someone actually wrote that because I would recommend using leaded solder, and I said it as someone who, who's really into to, 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 to environmentalism. Let's see. Sort of a tent. Okay. So yeah, pretty cool, and you see, I believe this is the default layout on it. We'll check that out real quick, although. This part is blocked off. I want to see Anthony rebuild and lube one of those optical switch boards so every switch is stabilized. Oh man. Oh man. That will not be fun. I need to order a whole new tube of dielectric grease for that. Okay, so we have the plate. Uh, again, uh, you know, this isn't, this isn't anything special. Fancy. It's not supposed to be anything fancy. It's supposed to be very accessible uh, in terms of just availability and pricing. 40% uh, keyboard. So we have the plate and have MX Reds. I haven't built a board of MX Reds in a long time. And, and then we get XDA Canvas. This is actually my first time showing XDA Canvas on stream, I believe. I don't think I've shown these on stream before. So, so that'd be kind of cool. Uh, we'll, we'll check this out. I guess afterwards, after we finish the build. Let's just set this aside. And I need to put the link to the master page for this. Let me do that. Oh, is this not the correct one? So here's the link to this kit if you want more information on it. Now, 
you might ask, hey, Anthony, do you do you have any 40% keyboards? Do you like ortholinear? Do you use 40%? Would you recommend it? Uh, no is the answer to all of the above. Uh, but I know, I understand that, that it has a place, you know. But some people might prefer it. Again, like chopsticks. If you ask me, it has, it, you know, it, it there's almost no no situation at the dining table where you should pick chopsticks over say a fork oh, and a spoon. Yeah. Almost no. There there are some circumstances. You know. So like you know, if if you're doing hot pot and you wanna grab stuff straight out of the pot, then yeah, you need chopsticks. But again, that's not a regular dinner. Alright, so if you want a keyboard that you could stuff your 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 uh, speedos with. LZ Ergo might not work. Uh, Matrix Able, as nice as it is, not gonna work. But the plank, that could actually do it. Oh no, strap, dude! Recovery is gonna suck. And Japanese horror rider, thank you so much for the thousand bits. The master lurker has has joined us. Uh, let's see who else. I like eating ch with chopsticks after because the chopstick absorbs some of whatever you're eating. Then you eat your chopsticks afterwards, whereas a fork and spoon is meta and you can't eat meta. No one's stopping you from using uh, bamboo forks and spoons. I need to pluck the PCB in. Oh, I need to put rubber feet on the thing first. That's right. That's what I was trying to do. Yeah, so hopefully the stream will be too long today. Uh, I don't even know if I will stream on Monday. Cause I have a paper and presentation due Tuesday, and of course I haven't started on it, so uh, I am gonna get that done. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I will still stream Sunday, but Monday night definitely not. I don't think so. If I do, I'll let you know, but most likely no stream on Monday, most likely. VPR, I hope you I hope you feel better soon. Strep is yeah, strep is terrible. Two or three times a year. Oh man, okay, so you you have experience with this. Eighteen <laughs> forty. Well, yeah, that's because you're buying it from Amazon. If you, if you just pick it up from... If you just buy it from Taobao or something, or AliExpress, I'm sure you can get it for pretty cheap. I love you. And Purple, how's it going? Oh, Purple. Oh, I was going to mention this. Are you still looking for the um, the GMK terminal ergo kit? You know the one with the multiple colors and stuff? Where it supports a, a myriad of uh, well older GMK sets with all the, the ergo keys. Because I know someone who's selling them. He he apparently purchased 12 or 15 or something like that. Around 15 of, of the kits to push the Ergo kit past the MOQ. He basically bought out the rest just so that he could get it. And so now he has a bunch. So if you are if you are looking for that, I know someone. Okay, so we've got the rubber feet on here. And let's put this aside. So I'm going to assume these two go in. Do any of these? No, okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna assume this goes in like so. Maybe. We will find out later. 
And apparently the screws might be wrong, so again, we will we'll see about that. Yeah, so these screws are definitely not correct, at least from you know, these screws are way too short. So Yeah, so the problem is so these screws will work if you are screwing the board uh, if you're screwing the, the, the PCB to the case but the way this is set up you are screwing the plate to the case so So yes, so that's going to be fun. Yeah, see, so you're going to need way longer screws. I don't even know if I have the correct size. Although these do look like a, the standard 60% screws. So I might even have screws. So yeah, absolutely amazing job, master up. or whoever is responsible for this. Okay, these are still too short. Hmm. Plank is no hot swap. No, it's the round six hot swap. Oh, the, oh, so I gave you the wrong link, whoops. Yeah, so this is not round six. This is the classic one. Yeah, this is the, I don't know which round this is then. This is Is this the one from the older link? No idea. No idea. Crippled, how's it going? But not hurting when you poo common or uncommon. I mean, it depends. It depends on uh, what you count as hurting. Okay, so let's see if these screws are the same. The look similar the question is will they fit okay so we will try that out later oh so dumb so dumb Long cutie pie, how's it going? See a little blood on the wipe. Well, this is why you should not be wiping. You should use a bidet or a bum gun or anything that that that, that uses water. You could even use a, a super soaker. For like a bit of pressure. <laughs> ZVG is that supposed to be a J pronounced as J or is it a J that's pronounced as a Y or an I? Bug whisper, how's it going? 
I believe this is supposed to be the 2U space bar. I'm going to check real quick. But I'm quite sure it's supposed to be the 2U space bar. One second. Checking my Google form for this. Where is it? Okay, okay, okay. Um, so it says all standard. So I believe the standard is with a 2U space. And thank you for the follow, ZVG. I appreciate it. And should she? Hey, long time no see. Man, so speaking of speaking of bidets and 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 stuff, I just realized one amazing thing about having a bidet. That you know, an experience that that is unfortunately uh, robbed from people who just from the unenlightened. Uh, from people who are still stuck in the primitive ways of wiping with, uh, you know, basically refined bark. Uh, shitting in the dark. It's a very therapeutic experience and I think that, that not enough people get to... Enjoy it on a regular basis. Oh, ones and nylon standoffs that would spin in place. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, did you hear that? Okay, so we've got a little LED. I don't know. Ooh. I will say that the PCB does look pretty nice. Then again, they have refined this uh, quite a few times. Although it is a little warped and I would prefer less holes here overall. It also supports ELP switches if you're into that sort of stuff. Fucking deviants. Just kidding. Uh, but yes, I mean, look at that. The white and gold. Pretty nice. You've got this LED. You've got the speakers. Let's try that again. Listen to this. She's bottom row. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. So, Tefram, hey, how's it going? Two planks, I forgot the bottom of Swiss cheese. Oh, you have two planks? Isn't that a bit too many? That's like too, too many. Just kidding. Shut, she says, I got a board for you to build. All right, sounds good. Yep, just send me an email right up here and we'll get to it. Oh. This shirt came in yesterday, actually. Look at this. It's a nice shirt. Oops. Okay, so I need to test the PCB real quick. We're going to do that. Uh, I left pretty much everything to do on the stream because otherwise it's going to be a stupid fast stream. Otherwise it's going to be like, you know, the build's going to take an, an hour. Maybe. Because it's just one stabilizer to work on as well. Mouse is fine. Do you do you have a bidet? You should get a bidet. Your friend should. Or you can just... You guys can share one. Let's test... Test this. Here we go. 
Okay, so the annoying thing is that nothing will correspond to what I expect it to be. Why is escape down here? What the fuck? Also, escape is on where caps lock would be. That's uh, mildly interesting. So again, I've never built a plank before. I don't even remember if I built. I think I built. So I built a minivan. Uh, maybe two minivans, maybe. But definitely no planks, I think. EPR says, "Can you feel the area the graphic is on on the inside a shirt?" Sticker. Uh, I mean, it's really not bad. I haven't, I haven't washed it yet. Though. I need to wash it once, to let it shrink or something. The shirt is very long though, so I need to get hemmed. Okay, so everything seems to work on a PCB. That's great. We're gonna work on the stabilizers, and then we can start soldering. you been a plank before I don't think I have I'm pretty sure I have I don't think I have thing is I think I built a prionic before but I don't think I've built a plank before don't think I know I built one or two minivans at least one for sure I built a road kit as well yeah I think it was a prionic that I built yeah, so don't expect much of a typing test because uh, <laughs> we, we ain't. Plank is more useful as a massive macro pad. I don't see how that's an unpopular opinion. I think that most people would think that that would make sense. I would get it as a big macro pad. Although I think I would prefer having uh, more big keys. Just, uh, I, I think they're really handy. Curious why someone would use a separate macro pad and having more layers. I know, right? Why doesn't anyone just have like three keys? Or just have one key, you know. It's like it's like a, it's like typing more in Morse code, right? Why don't people just do that? Just have one key. Why do we even have so many keys? Just have one. Have you built a Mac Mini? Don't think so. Don't think so. Man, I haven't even built a new mini yet, actually, now that I think about it. Because the new mini, there was a lot of hoo-ha and controversy around the new mini because uh, the designer and the the distributor of the Mac Mini uh, claims that the new mini PCB was basically a rip-off of the Mac Mini. But I believe KBD fans said that we just had no idea, you know, we just had someone approach us for a PCB and, you know, like they were going to make it. So it's just the same thing. Something like that. It was really weird. You know how China is with protecting uh, intellectual property. Just two, a zero and a one. 
Yeah, but you could just have one, right? Why not just have, you know, if I press it one time, it's one. If I hold it, then it's a zero. If I hold it for more than half a second, it's a zero. I think about it. Think about it. Is China even real? Never been there. I've seen it, so I've never. VPR. If uh, yes, brought to you by Market Street. This stream is sponsored by Market Street. This is my uh, my energy drink. Although I've since I've seen since uh stopped drinking sweet black tea, it's all just unsweet now. Gotta get off that uh diabetes hype train, man. I'm not all about it. Not not anymore. I think that's what concerns me a bit is because my grandfather passed away from complications because of diabetes and then my dad so that's from my dad's side and then my dad has uh what do i call that you know diabetes has type one and type two or something like that or it's just an early like you know warning for diabetes, something like that anyway so he he's pretty much stopped eating sugar because of that and so and he, and both of them are skinny as hell. You might think, oh, well, that's because you know you're you you know you're pretty round. You're for your family. No, like I'm the fat kid in the family. So you know, like my my grandpa and my dad both, you know, pretty skinny, uh, taller than I am, sadly. Uh, but but yeah, so they, so yeah, so diabetes is a is a family thing. So I'm a little concerned. Uh, So I figured, you know, if I can't cut rice and and curry, oh my god, rice and curry, and 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 noodles and pork chop and pork rolls, if I can't cut that and bread, I fucking love bread, potatoes. If I can't cut all that, I should at least cut sweet drinks and desserts. The least I could do. Unsweet black tea for life. Yes, I mean I've grown to just enjoy it. You know, it's just it's the nice thing about unsweet black tea is that, and of course I have it all chilled. Uh, but the nice thing is I can just sip on it without feeling guilty. That's nice. Both my parents have it. Oh no! So do they? Did they? Did they have to stop eating rice? Piece of little letter, like white rice. Because apparently it's, 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 and fruits as well. Or at least they have to really control it. No rice? Oh, yeah. See, I don't know how I would live without rice. If one day I find out that, that rice is horribly, horribly, uh, terrible for the environment. Horribly, horribly terrible. Yeah, I need to go to writing class. Uh, or if, uh, or if I find out that, that rice, that grain has feelings. And that they suffer a lot when we eat them. I don't know how I would live with that. I would I would be fine living as a stone cold murderer of rice. I would I would somehow find a way to, to deal with that cognitive dissonance. Yeah, like I would I would give up uh I would give up meat before I give up rice. I know that sounds retarded to most of you, but some things can't be changed. I'm conditioned, unfortunately. VPR, have you been to QQT House? So QQT House has, I think, the best, uh, like, you know, kind of Asian uh, fast food, sort of fast food. We call it fast food, but not really fast food, right? But, uh... But they have the best curry rice. 
it's it's actually really fucking good. It's uh, I try to have it once a week. The worst part about it though is that I swear to God they put like melatonin or or uh, some other shit in their rice, cause every time I eat it, I just go to bed right after. Like it's just so satisfying. Apparently that's actually really bad for you. Uh, food that does that to you, that put you in a food coma, is terrible for you. But it feels so good. It feels so good. You never get food come out. Wait, so you never eaten so much or, you know, such a satisfying meal that you want to just go to bed right after. Never? I mean, of course I'm exaggerating. I don't mean like, you know, you literally can't do anything. It's more just like, you just feel so good. You're just like, you know what? It's like, it's like, uh, you know how you can fall asleep right after, after, uh, nutting. Right? You're just like, all right, GG, I'm out. You know, I'm done for the day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. No, it's QQ Tea House. So let me take a picture of the, what the rice is. So QQ Tea House, they were one of the first, uh, they were one of the OG boba places in Plano, north of Dallas, but their boba sucks. Like they make some of the worst boba. And I mean, when I say boba, I mean like the whole drink, not just the bubbles. Their bubbles are bad, but the problem is their drinks are terrible too. So you can't even just get the drinks because the drinks themselves are pretty bad. Uh, but some of the snacks, pretty good, man. Pretty good. Okay, so let me see, curry. Anyone take a picture of it? No, I don't see any pictures. But basically, the curry reminds me a bit of uh, Malaysian curry. Although I still add a lot of uh, chili oil to it to make it good. But VPR, hey, when you're free and free of strap, we should we should go grab a meal. I'm open to getting curry chicken rice if you want. You should try it out since you like curry and rice. Or we could go to Market Street. I'm fine if you don't want. Totally fine. We've reached the food port. Yes, Talisman Solutions. And welcome to the stream today. I feel you on the rice thing. Sometimes it's just nice to put some butter, salt, and pepper. Oh, dude. Don't get me started, man. Like butter and soy sauce on rice. Oh, man. Oh, man. Butter or you put thick soy sauce. That's simple enough that it's it's actually pretty good. Yeah, butter and rice is a very uh, underrated combo. I think mostly because of health concerns. But if if, if you're having a terrible meal, uh, the easiest way to you know terrible meal with rice involved, white rice, then yeah, just fucking throw butter on it. It'll make it a little better. That's what I had to do when uh, one of my good friends had his parents visit from Malaysia. And so the parents cooked a meal for us. And it was supposed to be bakutte or roku cha, which is this meat. It's literally translated as meat bone tea. So it uses pork bones as a herb. It's a herbal soup with pork bones and stuff. And I swear to God, it was the worst rendition of Bakuta I've ever had in my entire life. And yeah, it was just fucking garbage. And it's because uh, the parents are working parents, full-time working parents. So they don't really cook almost at all. And it's why that one roommate was so strange. This was not the filthy-ass roommate. This is another roommate. This is the awkward one. What was I saying? But, but yes, yeah, so just absolutely terrible meal. And so what I did was I went to the fridge and I got butter because we were staying at, we were having a meal at my brother's place at the time. 
And yeah, so I went and grabbed butter and they're like, oh, what are you doing? And I was just adding rice to my, I was just adding butter to my rice, <laughs> adding rice to my butter. Actually, I was doing that. There was that much butter. And they're like, oh, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, well, I just really like butter with my rice, you know? Like, it just makes it so good. And it's actually just because I was literally just eating white rice and I just needed anything, anything that wasn't there cooking to go with the rice. Vlog says, I get food coma 100% of the time after eating turkey. Man. So if they made that curry rice with turkey, dude, you would never wake up. Eating the food, getting that nut. You're in a coma? Wait, what? Tally says, it's a consequence of your pancreas dumping insulin into your bloodstream. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to know the science part of it because it sounds terrible. Maybe you're getting tired after you eat Rice because it makes you nut. Either that or so much. Hey, actually, that could be it, right? Maybe that's what it is. Is that a Taiwanese place? Yes. Uh, well, supposed to be. They so they serve a lot of more Taiwanese style snacks. Yes, it's supposed to be Taiwanese, but no one there speaks Hokkien, as far as I know. They speak Mandarin there, so no idea. But I'm assuming it's supposed to be Taiwanese. The the, the stuff they serve is, is pretty Taiwanese based. That's it. So yeah, so more emphasis on, on Taiwanese snacks than, than say, mala and, you know, Sichuan style stuff. I will say my favorite thing from Taiwan here in Dallas is meat fresh. Man, that is one place that... Oh man, best milk tea, and pretty much the only place I know to get a word, you can get a Douhua or a Tao Fu Fa or they, they call it, they call it Tofu, uh, what do they call it here? They call it Tofu Pudding, which I think sounds fucking nasty, but, but it tastes way better than it sounds. Taiwanese aren't allowed to make bad boba. Yeah, this place is terrible. So I had, so one time I went there, the reason why I stopped there so often is because it's on the bus ride back, uh, on the way back uh, from campus when I take the bus. So I can just stop there, have lunch, and then, you know, just hop on the next bus ride and just go, go on home. Uh, so that's really nice. But yeah, so one time I stopped and I was like, you know what, I'm going to get boba. And, you know, so I tried most of the other things and they're usually pretty bad. And so I'm like, I'm going to get the honey milk tea. Right? You can't fuck up honey milk tea. It's simple enough. You know, just tea with, with, usually they don't put milk milk, right? It's either condensed milk or cream, you know, some sort of cream and honey. That's literally it. It's so simple. So fucking simple. And I couldn't even recognize what they brought out. I was like, wait a minute. This looks way too yellow and greenish to be honey milk tea, but whatever. And I took a sip. And it's kind of like, you know, when you smell someone's fart, you're like, you don't immediately stop at the first smell. You, you know, it smells terrible, but you're like, am I smelling this right? And you, took, you take a bigger whiff of just to see if, you know, your mind's playing tricks on... So, yeah. So, I took a sip. I'm like, oh, my God. What the fuck did I just... And I take a bigger sip. I take a... You know, it's a full gulp at this point. And, yeah. Terrible. <laughs> and... So, I'm pretty sure they didn't use honey honey. They used honey powder. Because the drink had a really powdery texture to it. It's fucking nasty. 
And so I'm pretty sure they use some sort of honey powder mixture or whatever instead of real honey. And so instead of black tea, they use green tea. Who the fuck makes milk green tea? And who the fuck puts honey powder? It's like honey milk tea. And you know, it's three things. It's honey, it's milk, and it's tea. So first of all, it's probably not milk to begin with, right? It's usually cream or something. So we kind of ignore that. We're like, whatever, you know? So it's not even milk. It's not honey, and it's not even the right kind of tea. So it's just, just basically all three. They just get all three things wrong. I don't even know how they can do it, but apparently that's what they do. And yeah, it was one of the worst drinks I've had. Uh, right up there with this uh, eggnog rum that I had. Oh my god. I still, I still have PTSD from that drink. It was eggnog rum and seven other kinds of alcohol. Some weird shit like that. Wait, so grandparents raised you? Wait, you mean me or uh, the roommate? Because, no, my grandparents did not raise me. No, no, no. Um, I almost never spoke to my grandparents, actually. You tried butter and soy sauce and rice. I tried butter and rice. Yeah, so typically a quick meal that you could do is just rice or butter. And then you make, like, some Taiwanese sausage or a fried egg. And then you just add soy sauce to it. It needs to be decent soy sauce, though. Not that kick a man bullshit. Thanksgiving turkey is the equivalent of taking a bottle of melatonin for me. Oh, wow. Hearthstones, how's it going? First ortho I've seen you make? Yes. Uh, definitely the first plank on stream. I don't build a lot of ortho boards at all. I just have one. I've only ever owned one ortho board. Well, actually, that's a lie. I owned an Ergo Dox Infinity. But yes, I still have an Atreus that I've been meaning to desolder and sell, but I haven't done that yet. Do they make transparent keyboard switches and caps so you can mount a colored LED under it to light up the caps? This journey started. Color LED, I mean... They... Yes, they do that a lot. Uh, you know... You could just grab a... Okay, so Automod is holding a message uh, back. You should see it though. I'm gonna allow it. And you can see why maybe Automod tried to block it. Uh, but hopefully, this, hopefully I'm not breaking any uh, toss. But anyway, uh, so journey started. Welcome back to the stream. I know, I know. Uh, this is just your second time here? Second or third? Uh, but anyway. So, yes, I mean, you could always just grab, you know, almost any RGB board will have transparent switches or translucent. And, and yeah, they have RGB under it. And you could buy transparent caps. Crippled, yeah. Vinegar is... <laughs> oh, Lord. It's Vinegar, so... Fiat. Hold on, am I even spelling this right now? Holy shit, now you're making me doubt myself. What the fuck? Yes. Oh my god, the first the first suggestion is vinegar and chicken curry. No, don't don't do that. PC Little Letter says, I think I might have been to Meat Fresh, but there's so many of those places around here. Okay, yeah, I mean you are in You are in California though. So Lucky Lucky you. There there are not a lot of options like that over here, sadly. So PC Load Letter, uh, in California, actually, because you might know this better than, than some other friends in California. Uh, so at least in your area, what's the... What's the makeup of the Chinese population over there? Like, generally, what's the what what's it look like? Because over here, it's mostly northern Chinese people. That's why it's so many Sichuan places around. That's why I don't enjoy going to most Chinese restaurants here. The place you put pics of Discord food. Ah, uh, maybe not. Actually, 
A while back, yes, I, I did show a, a chicken curry. Actually, not you mentioned it, yes. Uh, I put it up there once before. Let me see if I can find it. Okay. Okay, I found it. I found it. I found it. Okay, so VPR, here's the, here's what it looks like. Soy sauce and vinegar, but yeah, no. Uh, I'm assuming black vinegar, right? Instead of the white stuff. We got one stabilizer, we're gonna test it out. Techniques, hey! Welcome, welcome! Always nice to see first timers here, although this is a this is a quite a unique build because we don't often build uh ortholinear boards and tiny boards like that. But but yes, welcome to the stream. Usually non-dairy creamer, yes, which is good. I wouldn't want to shit myself silly after a nice cup of boba. Look at the live chat, 10% keyboards. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> Fish and chips, cookie and milk, cereal and milk, chips and dip, salt and... Some of the older immigrant communities are mostly Chinese, and we have some cities with a ton of Vietnamese. Oh yeah, but I mean like uh, just the Chinese, so not even like the Asian population, but as in, you know, cause over here, I mean, yeah, you know, there's a lot of Vietnamese and, and Koreans. There's a lot of Vietnamese and Koreans here. Uh, there's even more Vietnamese in Houston, I believe. But, you know, for example, I think New York has way more Percentage-wise, uh, way more Southern Chinese people than Chinese. Because like over here, you know, I almost never hear Cantonese or Hokkien, for example. Actually, yeah, Hokkien almost never. Cantonese, sometimes. Hokkien, I've only heard it once. We went to a restaurant that uh, was owned and run by a, a, a someone from Taiwan, a, tai a Taiwanese, a Taiwanese owner, and my dad was visiting because uh, he was he was in Austin for a business trip, and so he visited Dallas to see me and my elder brother, and so we went to a restaurant. And yeah, so him and the Taiwanese owner were just having a nice little conversation, nice chat in Hokkien. And the owner was just so happy. He was like, oh my God, you know, like I, I almost never get to, to speak Hokkien of anyone. Helpful human, how's it going? And NGB as well, how's the play? Okay, now to test this key out, do it. Okay. Alright, stabilizer sounds like it works. And now half the build is done. back in the box because we're not going to need the shitty stabilizers. P 
This is what it says. Hokkien is dying. Most Taiwanese here rarely speak it. When I go to Taiwan, my aunts and uncles always try to speak to me in Mandarin. Yeah, I mean, it's the same thing in in Malaysia or uh, uh, spe specifically Penang because, like, you know, almost all the schools still have rules against speaking in dialect. So you're not allowed to speak Hokkien and Cantonese in school. You can only speak Mandarin. And I think it's one of those legacy rules, you know, where it makes sense, um, you know, decades ago when you had Cantonese and Hokkien people at school and then maybe they were forming cliques and gangs or whatever. There's some sort of invisible segregation going on because of language. I say invisible because they look the same, right? <laughs> they just don't speak the same. Uh, but... Yeah, so I'm assuming it's one of those, and then so they had to force all the students to speak Mandarin. Uh, but you know, it doesn't make sense now, because yeah, Hokkien and Cantonese are both dying out. Uh, especially Hokkien, because there's just not a lot of places in the world that speak it to begin with. And Long Cutie Pie, thank you so much. Nine months. Nine months. Everybody says, fastest build on stream ever. Uh, seems like it. Certainly seems like it. Play was so good. Plays of school put on are professional. Yeah, unlike uh, most plays that colleges put out, right? So, you know, I went to a small private Southern Baptist University. Uh, I didn't know what I was signing up for, okay? And anyway, and so every year they would have this event called Sing. Where it's basically the alumni will come and it's like a it's a homecoming basically and so they'll put on a big show for for the alumni and it's mostly acts by organizations and you know fraternities sororities stuff like that and oh my fucking god it's terrible absolutely terrible my elementary school put out better uh, plays and musicals than whatever shit they come up with it's it's really really bad. Uh, one sorority teamed up with one frat to do a, a, uh, to do Bohemian Rhapsody. Holy shit. So first of all, most singers don't even try to attempt Bohemian Rhapsody because it's such a difficult song to sing. And these people who aren't singers, I guess technically they are because they sang. It's like calling yourself an engineer because you're taking intro to engineering. <laughs> uh, but... Well, that's not even an intro to engineering class, right? Anyway. Um, yeah. So, just really bad. And I remember just being so shocked, you know, because growing up, when you think of um, the arts in the US, you think, man, you know, they're going to do such a better you know they're gonna do a much better job because people here actually care about the arts and stuff like that compared to asia and the answer is actually no majority of my cousins in taiwan don't speak it because of schools yeah it's so dumb right pc little letter it's probably just a yeah I, i'm pretty sure it's just a way to 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 enforce the the learning of mandarin you know especially back then when most people would uh would speak hokkien and cantonese at home and so you know mandarin is actually a second language to them and so it made sense to enforce rules like that but now most people speak mandarin and you know the dialects are dying out it's so stupid now the dialects are mostly used for just the cuss words that that's all they've been reduced to basically and I, I, I can tell you, out of all the languages and dialects I know, Hokkien is the most beautiful language to be angry in. And to cuss in. Just beautiful. Mandarin sucks for swearing. Mandarin sounds so lame when you're swearing. Cantonese sounds a bit too polite when you're trying to swear. It's all the ROC government fault, but not the uh, PROC, right? I always get those two mixed up. 
B losses have an engineering degree and I don't even call myself an engineer. Well, that's because you're... You're a humble man. Would you say so? The most humble man... On earth. Yeah, so whenever uh, my American friends would ask me to teach them to cuss in Chinese, you know, does this say Chinese? Yeah, I will teach them how to cuss in Hokkien because it's the best. It's the best. You don't want to teach anyone to cuss in Mandarin because there's almost no cuss words in Mandarin. It's so lame. Uh, Cantonese, you know, it's a bit too common. Stuff like Dule Lomo and stuff like that. It's whatever. Or Chao Ni Ma with, uh, in Mandarin. Yeah, that sounds so lame. Chao Ni Ma. Diu Lei Lomo. But Hokkien gives you stuff like, you know, Gam Lu Ki Lan Jiao. Or shit like that, you know. That's some good stuff. And so Diu Lei Lomo means, you know, uh, fuck your mom or your old mother. And Gam Lu Ki Lan Jiao is suck your own penis. You know, see, you've got you've got so much beauty in it. You know, all the the uh, alliteration and things like that. Things just sound so much harsher and and staccato in Hokkien. Never learned those? Man. I think I think uh I think a big reason why a lot of Chinese schools still keep the no dialect rule is because most people just use dialects for swearing. So I think that's why they still uphold those rules. Maybe. Suck your own penis and never sound as a beautiful Yeah, you know it's like suck your own dick. You know it's just suck, suck your own cock. It just doesn't have that. And, and gum is not even just suck, it's like, you know, suckling, you know, or just having it in your mouth, kind of, you know, so it's not even, you know. Suck just, you know, it's, it's alright, you know, it's not that, not that descriptive, it's not that beautiful. You know, gum is more of a, you know, you could be just like a, you know, like a mother cat, you know, grabbing the kitten. You know, with the with the lips. <laughs> God damn it, Andrew V. I think there's some schools in Taiwan now that teach in Hokkien. We're just we're just teaching you a new language. This is this stream, you know, it's always been my vision for this stream to be kinda like Duolingo. Is it Duolingo? Yes. That's exactly what the stream is. This is why we are part of the uh, Twitch EDU, or as now they're called, uh, the Knowledge Fellowship. There's a big emphasis on, on diversity and, and, and appreciation of, of uh, other cultures. Absolutely, absolutely educational. Journey started says, in UK, Rice Man called for an engineer to repair his oil fryer. Oh man, is that going to be kind of like, um, it's kind of <laughs> like when, you know, when you're on a plane and, you know, someone's, someone fainted. Is anyone here a doctor? I am. Oh, can you help out? I, oh, I, I have a, I have a you know, philosophical or, you know, I'm a doctor in philo doctor philosophy and blah, blah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, but I'm a doctor, okay? I have a PhD in women's studies. But I'm a doctor. Or, oh my god. Um, that one lady. That. That was having so much fun. Uh, making fun of uh, uh, small Asian eyes. She has a PhD. 
in leadership studies. What the fuck is leadership studies? And, you know, if you get a PhD in leadership at Harvard or at Cambridge, you're going to think, oh, man, if these big schools are, are you know, having, you know, doctorate programs for, for stuff like that, there's probably a reason for it, right? Like it's probably legit, right? You know, you're like, oh, man. But this was a leadership, a PhD in leadership studies at Hardin Simmons University, a private Southern Baptist University in the middle of buttfuck nowhere, Texas. <laughs> Why don't you just buy something from Phoenix University or whatever it's called? Uh, what's that one called? I don't remember what it's called. Junior Science says, I still associate swearing with people that hate and bully these days to avoid atrocities. I have to bleep the words in my mind. Oh, man. I don't know. I think, um, so, you know, my, my parents were super strict on swearing. Like I said, you know, I grew up in, in a uh, very traditional, uh, I want to say conservative, but in America, you know, that has a very different meaning to it. But, yeah, very traditional Chi Chris Chinese Christian household. So, yeah, no swearing, you know. None of that. Could have even watch Lord of the Rings and Spider Man. Even Star Wars was banned because it was violent. Uh, and Chewy, how's it going? But yeah, it's it's kind of weird, you know. The the older I get, the more you know you you you, you start associating. Oh, hey, if someone kind of swears sometimes, you know, or. You, 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 you perceive the person as more honest and gentle for some weird reason. Duolingo. I have a white coworker of a Taiwanese girlfriend who claims he's really good at Mandarin after doing Duolingo for a month. Oh man. Yeah, don't. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, I mean. That's why, that's why I hate, um. Like, I try not to discourage people from learning Mandarin and Chinese in general. But it's a very difficult language to speak properly. You know, you could sort of kind of get around, you know. Mostly because of context, contextual cues and hints. But yeah, because when John Cena had his video on, you know, Lao Kan Ma, the uh, chili oil people are like, oh my god, his Mandarin is so good, so good. Like, no, like, he uses... The right words and he's making the sentences but if you just separated out the character words none of them would make sense like if you just had no idea he was talking about chili oil and stuff like that you just piece out the words they don't make any fucking sense because none of it's pronounced correctly or well not none of it but most of it's not pronounced correctly uh, red hawk hey look at that of course you're resubbing when uh when it's a plank stream with with red the switches right red hawk He claims he can read the Chinese newspaper, but Duolingo only does simplify Chinese, and all the newspapers here are in traditional. Oh my god. Oh, are you are you really close with this coworker? Cause I would I would I would just avoid. Maybe I would still talk to people like that just to just to have stories to tell other people. Yeah, he sounds like a like a tool. And crippled also with the resub. Thank you so much. Yeah, even I won't claim I can read the Chinese newspaper. I think there's studies about how... Uh, how many characters people actually understand, like, completely fluent uh, Chinese readers. But, you know, just, you know, even they don't know how to read everything on the newspaper. His girlfriend's mom says Chinese is good, but I think they're just being nice to the white guy who's trying. Yes, absolutely. That's the thing. Like, I, you know, I, I try to encourage people, but then, you know, quite frankly, most of them are just not good. They're fucking terrible uh, at, at Chinese, but you're just like, ah, good job, good job. No.
It's like a, what's it called? The Dunning-Kruger effect? Because, yeah. Because, once you, once, once you actually get how difficult Chinese is, is you just like, when you're actually familiar with it, you just, like, yeah, no. It's, uh, yeah, I, I, my, my Chinese is pretty fucking terrible. Does he have Chinese tattoos yet? Uh, PC load letter? Is he the type of person that'll correct you if you say you speak Chinese? You mean Mandarin? He had no idea there are other dialects. Oh wow. Oh wow. But uh, that's that's strange though that uh that his girlfriend's Taiwanese and that concept was never explained to him. Though Chinese is a legit language, I imagine. Yes, mouse is fine, absolutely. You're correct. Mandarin is kinda like uh Elvish. And Klingon or whatever they call that. Yeah, it's 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 very it's it's purely fictional. But because it's so popular that that you know people unironically think it's an actual language. Man, one really weird thing as well is, uh, so, to a lot of us back home in Malaysia, we would call Chinese as in the language Huawen or Huayu. But when you speak to people from China and you say Huayu or Huawen, they have no fucking clue what you mean. Cause for the Chinese, they call it Zhongwen. As in, and Zhong, because Zhongguo or China. So as in, For them, the it's the, the language Chinese is the language of China and not Chinese people. If that makes any sense. Standard Chinese I mean I guess that's what they would call it. I don't know. But yeah, but th th that part is really interesting. Because, you know, for example, they don't really have a term for ethnically Chinese people who are not nationally Chinese. So first we call it Huaren. You know, and it's very different from Zhongguoren. Because Zhongguoren would mean someone who is from China, nationally China. You know. Uh, it's probably ethnically Chinese as well, but that's a nationality nationality thing, and then when we talk about the ethnicity, then we say Huaren, and this is in Malaysian Chinese. But for people in China, all of it is just Zhongguoren and Zhongwen, so everything is tied to the nationality. Uh, so they don't even have a really good way of describing people who are ethnically Chinese but not from China. So yeah, so definitely very interesting. Cause yeah, cause I would tell I would tell Chinese people that you know, oh yeah, you know my Huayu is not very good. And they're like, what the hell? Like, oh yes, my Zhongwen. It's not very good. I wonder if there's another example for this. I can't I can't think of another example. Oh yeah, Hanyu, uh, Hanyu, right? 
Han. Is it Han or Han? Han. No, Han Yu is a. Uh, <laughs> Han Yu is Han Yu is a uh, Korean. Han yeah. So Han Yu. When we say Han Yu. It's sort of, but you don't say Han Ren. That's the thing. Like it's still not the ethnicity. It's still not that. Cause yeah, sometimes we call it Han Yu or Han Wen. But usually that only refers to text. So the language and it has nothing to do with the ethnicity as well. I think most of the time when people do, at least back in Malaysia, when people do say Han Yu or Han something something, they usually, it's used in a more academic sense. As in, yeah, it's, it's almost strictly academia that you see words like Han something something or whatever. So in uh, textbooks and, and stuff like that, they'll say Han Yu or something, but when we're, we're referring to it, you know, in any other way, outside of academia, it's just Hua Yu or Hua Wen. And yeah, and then Chinese people will be Huaren, which I know sounds aw awfully close to Huawen, which is the language. But yeah, definitely very tricky. Uh, yeah, I just, I just, I can't think of another, another example that's close. Because I mean, over here, you still call English English, right? You don't call it American. You might call it American English, but even then. Hearthstone, hey, welcome to the stream. So I think I'm getting a new mini. I kind of like Ortho now that I've tried it on my Ghetto JG40. New mini is cool. Uh, I like the multiple accessories they have for it. They have an aluminum bottom. They have a polycarbonate bottom. Polycarbonate or acrylic? Acrylic, I think. Yeah, so pretty fun. I like it. Looks nice. <laughs> I think all this complexity is just more evidence supporting the idea China's made up. Actually, yeah. Actually, I've never been to China, and I've never even seen China with my own eyes. It's probably fake. Yeah. I mean, have you seen China and America together in the same room at one time? No, right? Have you seen China and Korea together at the same time? Maybe Korea is actually, or China is actually Korea. Maybe. That would explain why they both hate the Japanese so much. <laughs> Bliss9, hey, how's it going? Think of this complexity. Uh, hold on. It's probably fake. Earth is so flat, it's not possible for a country to exist on the other side of the world. No, but... I think it's it's why they're also I think it's why you know all the Asians are so short though, right? It's because they're on the other side of the world, so the whole flat Earth is smooshed. You know they're being smooshed and smashed on by by the rest of Western society. Well, to say Western, but really we mean above society, right? We mean above civilization. Yeah, that would make sense, right? That's why the Chinese are so short. You know, they're being smashed by the earth. That makes sense. You know, I came from the underside. And I'm not very tall.
Looking like a pro. There's a theory that the Earth is flat and dinosaurs still live on the other side. So you're saying Asians live with the dinosaurs? Yes. Man, I don't see why you wouldn't think so. I mean, you've heard of the nets they put up at Foxconn, right? They say it's to prevent uh, overworked seven-year-olds from jumping off the... The windows uh, but really they're nets to, to stop and to catch dinosaurs dinosaurs are a lie too you ever seen I've, I've mentioned before right like I know where the 6,000 comes from because as a kid, I was nine years old, bored out of my fucking mind. Uh, and because, you know, we didn't have internet, we didn't have, you know, video games, we, you know, we had pretty much nothing. And so I just had too much free time. And what I did was I added up, so I went back and looked at the genie. Genealogy, genealogy, whatever, all right? So, and I added up all the ages, all right? So you have, you know, all the all the all the ancestors of Jesus, and you know, so you have people like, I think Methuselah is also a, an ancestor, and he was nine hundred and. Shit, I remember this nine seven eight. Damn it, I don't remember, what the fake ages. Nine six nine. There we go. Damn it! How can I forget nine six nine? Nine six nine is like a threesome, but one person's left out. Uh, <laughs> I say that from personal experience. But anyway, uh, yeah. And so once you add up all the years, and then you add two thousand, and so in two thousand nine, I was. I mean, uh, no. When I was nine, it was two thousand and one. No, hold on. My math is terrible. 2003. Yeah, 2003. So, so, yeah. So, you add up all the years. You add up how... You add up... Uh, so, when Jesus was born. And then, yeah. So, how old the father was. Jesus was born and all. All that. All the way up to Adam. And then, you add 2003 to it. Oh, I did that. I add 2003 to it. And, yeah. It was like 6,000. Around 6,000. I think I'm thinking about any notion is an educational stream. No, this is very educational, not historical. This is this is almost a documentary. Right? You know if if National Geographic was still a serious educational uh, channel, they would have this stream there live right now. Look at you, spamming type racer. I remember those days. And I was like, oh, wow. Now I've, I've, I've given up. Would never have guessed what a 969 was. Yeah. It's just getting cupped.
No longer a crash channel, it's a flat earth observatory. Oh man, so isn't there a new Netflix, uh, not Netflix documentary, but isn't there a documentary up on Netflix about flat earthers? I haven't seen it yet. Did Netflix have any of the anti-vax uh, documentaries and stuff? Because I know Amazon Prime Video had it, right? And then they pulled them or something like that? Anti-vax? Do you mean anti-facts? <laughs> the first nine is crying feet of position, while the six and the other nine get freaky. <laughs> I guess. GoFundMe is taking out any anti-vax campaigns. That's good. Did you see, uh, is it Puerto Costa Rica? Costa Rica, I think. Uh, this is a measles problem again. And it's because, and then I think, was it all three or four kids from this family have contracted measles and the parents are anti-vax. So all the kids now. And there's one anti-vax guy who now has chicken pox or some shit, right? Or at least he was a he was a, a big uh, pro protester, basically the opposite of a supporter, opposite of a of an advocate. He was really against. Um, Either state or federal requirements for vaccinations, and then so he got chicken pox or some shit. Ah, don't you love a a lethal dose of justice? Maybe not lethal, but Italy banned children who aren't vaccinated from schools. Oh man, I didn't know you could vaccinate from schools. I mean, I'm vaccinated. From you know. Measles, rubella, not chicken pox though. I actually got that when I was a kid. Just saw the bittersweet life, amazing action movie. I man, I was just thinking that recently because uh, <laughs> I remember my you know, younger brother was telling me how he. He only ever wants to go to the theater, the cinema for action movies, and I'm the exact opposite. I do not want to go watch a fucking action movie. They're probably my least favorite genre. I probably put action movies, you know, down there with chick flicks, probably rom coms or whatever. Uh, and yeah, but my younger brother, who is you know. Otherwise, and. Uh, uh, Intellectual and academic, because you know he's gonna be a teacher. So yeah, you know I just want to watch action movies. Like, I just don't want to use my brain. You know I'm trying to relax. Yeah, but for me, and I'm the opposite. I'm like, no, I don't want to waste my time watching that shit. And I know my my other brother got really defensive and and even offended when I when I mentioned that. What was he saying? Uh, oh, he was talking about this article that that someone put up on a Christian website about how they are pushing, uh, you know, feminist propaganda and and forced uh, basically affirmative action and and 
stuff like that on on Marvel superhero movies and you know so he's telling me and you know he's and I said well I mean yeah I mean who gives a shit right like you know Marvel you know so I said something about how Marvel's movies are you know like not that great anyway and he's like like, oh shit I forgot I forgot that you know you've been to every one of those and you actually enjoy watching (laughs) whoops I said oh no I mean like you know I mean like they're just formulating now you know I'm gonna lose so many subs for saying that Same at all, but I think this was a non-standard Korean movie. It reminded me of John Wick. See, like, I... Yeah. So, I went to see John Wick with my roommate. Uh, my... The... The, the filthy-ass roommate. The disgusting one. And, I mean, he was like, Oh, my God. You know, so good. And, yeah, I did not enjoy it. I almost fell asleep watching it. Anti-seatbelt advocate died because he wasn't wearing a seatbelt. Oh, yeah, I read... Th- I read that. Jared Hawk says, okay, I think I remember reading that. Guy was against measles and vaccinations. They got measles and died or something. Funny how life works, huh? Hey, rom comes and good stuff. Baby rage. Have you, have you, Jared Hawk, have you seen uh, The Big Sick yet? With Kumail Nanjiani? Audio is behind like two seconds. Must have been on your end. Yeah. Just like how you are on your friend's end, right? Helping him clean up. Okay, so let's straighten this one stabilizer. Hey, we did it! Wow, amazing! Oh, go down. Honestly, this is a little um. <laughs> this is a little. Uh, what's the word? Not relieving. All right, enough of that shit talk. Um, comforting, comforting. After the Matrix Able build, where you know we couldn't get the RGB to work properly because of the bent PCB, and, and like compared to the GHB two, where I had to lube all the switches and stuff. Just before the stream, I was still trying to find. A replacement switch for the space bar because you know there were clicking switches and stuff like that. Yeah, there's this one. Hey, we're done, we're already done, and then now it's just a matter of finding the right screws for it. Let me watch that movie. Well, you have to see it, Red Hawk. You have Amazon Prime, right? It's free on Amazon Prime, so go watch it. Watch it on your nice OLED. Your $300 OLED TV? $400? I mean, you could have saved $300 if you had just waited like two days. But, uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> what you told your what you told your family? <laughs> okay. So. Oh my god, I forgot. All right, now let's test it out. This nine says what movie? Oh, uh, no, this is a. Uh, this is not an action movie at all, but I did I did enjoy it. So it's it's sort of a rom com, sort of, but not really. Because I refuse to see it as a rom-com because it's actually pretty thoughtful, I'd say. 
uh, and it's based on a true story, based on, right? So obviously they had to give it more flair and stuff. But yeah, so it has Kumail Nanjiani, which is one of my favorite comedians. And it's the Indian guy. Well, I say Indian guy, but you know, he's Pakistani. You get what I'm saying. <laughs> Meanwhile, everyone, everyone from India, Pakistan, and and uh, Bangladesh. Whoa, what the fuck did you just say? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, Kumail Nanjiani was in Silicon Valley. So if you enjoyed his character there, or if you've seen any of Kumail Nanjiani stand up and stuff like that, maybe you would enjoy it. Uh, but yeah. It's sad that they put one of the best jokes in the trailer, you know, as how they... That's why you should never watch trailers, right? But... Yeah, uh, definitely very enjoyable. I haven't watched it since, but I should watch it again. I don't know about Ray Romano in the movie. Did you not like Ray Romano? I mean, I didn't really care about most of the other characters. The big stick. <laughs> Well, uh, I mean, I've seen that one too, and you know, it's not bad. the The plot was uh, had a had a, had a had a couple of holes in it, but I enjoyed the uh, the massive props. I get what I mean? That they used in that movie. <laughs> not very wrong, not lot, not very calm, not a lot of wrong, but it was pretty nice. It was more of a... More of a ram cum than a rom com. Okay, so let's test this thing out. So we built this very complex difficult keyboard I need to make sure everything works okay so this I believe is a function key yes that's what we just told you we just told you that Technically, sort of, wrong come, but not really. We just told you. That's why only, you know, watch it if you like that, or if you like Kumail Nanjiani, which is the reason why I watched it, because it was his first uh, ever film, first film that he directed and acted in. And so he was the writer, the director, <laughs> The, the protagonist, the main actor, he was basically just, it was basically mostly him. Yeah, so that's why I watched it. Otherwise, you know, like, I, that's why I said, you know, I, I enjoy action movies as much as I enjoy rom-coms or chick flicks and stuff. I just don't enjoy both of those. You know, so the big sick is kind of like, you know, there are some action movies that I actually enjoy. So kind of like that. All right, so how the hell does this thing fit in here? Who's supposed to use both the foam pads or just one of them? Because I am getting confused. Yeah, they include these two foam pieces, but they don't tell you what they do. So I don't even know why they included two and. Red Hawk, do you know why they included two? You would know, right? You're a you're a blank expert. Is there a commonly available ortholinear with at least a XD seventy five? Yes, just like what Sin says. XD seventy five. PC letter. The best part about XD seventy five 
is that you can fit it in a standard 60% case. So if you want to try ortholinear, I would I would recommend that. AB7, what are you watching now? You watching uh, the big sick? Oh, but listen, if you're looking for some something to watch, have you seen Get Out? I uh, I have to watch it soon because I rented it from Amazon, and because I had to use up my promotional credit, you know, the digital credit, or whatever, and so. So I I rented it, but I haven't seen it yet. I haven't had time to see it yet. Yeah, because for a while I was I went looking around for all the. Uh, whoops! I just realized we're still on that screen. Yeah, I went around looking for uh, what movies. Uh, yeah, it was actually it was a. I spent. You know, almost an hour trying to figure out what to rent from Amazon Prime because you know I was ba I basically had, I basically had had you know Google Rotten Tomatoes, I had uh, Amazon Google Play and all these tabs open and then I'm trying to see like okay so which movies are good and then you know what were the nominations Oscar nominations for that year and would it be cheaper for me to rent it from Amazon or from Google Play because if I can rent it from Google Play then I'm not gonna waste it. I'm not gonna waste my Amazon credit on that, right? I'm just gonna, and then, you know, which one has the better version? Like some have up to 4K, some just have 1080p. Yeah, so like I took a long time. No, you know, I, I was just spending like six bucks or some shit. Yeah, and then what else is good? Uh, I know one of the movies I enjoyed the most for, um, uh, you know, recent years. When I say recent years, I mean like the past <laughs> six, seven years. Yeah, because ever since I came to the U.S., it's all just been a blur. The whole seven years has just been one piece. Uh, but Birdman is it? Birdman, it's pretty good. And then if you like action, then of course, Mad Max Fury Road, right? Just tore it. No, I'm a law abiding citizen. I am not. I like to think that I am. Okay, so we still need to get screws to. F well, hold on, hold on. Maybe. Actually, that's true. Actually, yeah, now that you mentioned the stream quality, actually, yes. Actually, that is a legitimate reason to, yes, actually. Now, I, I'm still not going to say I, 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 I support it fully on stream. I don't... I don't want to get banned but but yes then you know then do it because yes i agree i hate i hate when i get something from a streaming site and you know and you pay money for it too and it's not even the, you know great quality it's like fucking shitty 1080p horribly compressed four K HDR Infinity Wars Man, the last Marvel movie I watched was either Ant Man or Doctor Strange. I can't remember which one. It's only legal if you get caught. Oh man, we got we got served a letter from our ISP last time because uh, my roommate was torrenting stuff. Oh no, it wasn't even my roommate. It was someone who was just living with us for, staying with us for a month. That, that kid was an asshole though. 
What do I buy on Amazon? I always get standard quality for dollar less. Wait, so can you still watch HD even when you click standard quality? I mean, if you guys have any movie recommendations, let me know. Uh, but yeah, not preferably not action though. I I hate that I've I you know I I never thought I would become more of a like I just I prefer drama and shit like that. Shit with a lot of dialogue. Memento. Is Johnny English 3 worth watching at all? I guess maybe when I have literally nothing better to do. Just a shame because yeah, the first one was pretty good. It's just because it was new. And, and then the second one wasn't great. And then the third one was apparently terrible. Apparently. So I wonder what's on my list. So let me see my Google Play list actually. Hold on. What do I have? And then I need to see my Amazon. What do I have there? Hey. Video library. So yeah, so I just have Get Out apparently uh, on Amazon. Expires in eight days? Fuck. So I have to watch it in eight days? Well, I'm not free this coming week. God damn it. Okay, so what do I have on Google Play? <laughs> so yeah, I did recently watch Won't You Be My Neighbor. Uh, it's not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good actually. Yeah, pretty good. But again, you know, I didn't grow up watching uh, Mr. Rogers. So it doesn't have that big of an effect on me. But if it did, then you know, you should watch it. Uh, and then... <laughs> it's it's actually it's actually kind of sad what you know just what I have on. So I want you to be my neighbor, and I have Ip Man one, two, and three. And I only have it because I was at my brother's place, and he had some friends over, and they wanted to watch Ip Man. And so I bought. Or maybe like it was cheaper to buy all three at the same time or some shit. So that's why I have it. That's pretty much it. I'm not even a big uh, martial arts film person. Can't watch any movies that people have told me are really good because I always end up being disappointed. See, PC I'm, I'm, I would say I'm the same way. Uh, most movies, and that's why I was a little afraid when I was watching The Big Sick because my now sister-in-law at the time. She was, you know, my brother's, my younger brother's uh, fiance. So, like, oh yeah, I didn't like the movie. I found it too slow and, you know, I didn't like it. And, you know, I was like, oh, I was so afraid. I was like, oh my God, you know, is, it, is it, am I going to be disappointed? You know, I haven't seen a movie in so long. It's the first movie I'm going to see. And again, only because I like Kumail. Uh, I was like, oh man, is it going to be, is it going to be terrible? And then it turns out, I was like, wait a minute. I actually quite enjoyed it. Yeah. So now I know I should just never ask her for recommendations of movies because I know whatever probably that she likes I'm probably not gonna like. I will say I don't enjoy watching musicals for the most part. Uh, see, I get, I get musicals, you know, live theater. Okay, I get that, right? That stuff is impressive. But I just don't like musical films. I just, I just derive no enjoyment out of it. I think I just can't suspend my belief. Suspend your belief. Right? Yeah, like, you know, when do people randomly break out in song and why is it necessary? Just why? Uh, 
Okay, so we've got our board, and I should probably put a desk mat under it, right? It's gonna make it look. I need to wash my hands, so I've got lead and shit. I will say though, I have been meaning to watch uh, Django and Inglourious Bastards again. Uh, I think maybe even Pulp Fiction. I didn't enjoy Kill Bill that much. Like, it was alright. I think Avatar is one of the worst movies I've ever seen. People raise it up to such a high pedestal. Avatar as in... The tall Smurf. Smurfs, right? Not... The airbender or whatever. Memento. Let me let me look up Memento then. Let's see. Hey, it's got more than ninety percent Rotten Tomatoes. I I might I might actually like it. Hold on, let's see. I need to just add it to. I need to just start adding stuff to a list. I did not enjoy Avatar. I thought it was fucking retarded. The weirdest part was that they... You, they would ride those... Flying horses or whatever the same way they would... Or I guess they have horses and flying things. I can't remember if they're the same thing. But they would ride animals the same way they would... Mate and make out the... <laughs> the weird ugh. it's like the fucking uh, vacuum in Teletubbies you know and yeah there they was the same process and system and yeah that just weirded me out it's like wait a minute so you're telling me when you're riding that horse thing you're basically sticking your dick oh what uh, it's just really strange. It's like, you know, can you imagine if every time you wanted to ride a horse, you had to stick your dick in it just to... When do people randomly break out and dance every Bollywood movie ever? Yes. I mean, that's why I didn't enjoy it. My, my mom used to sometimes put on Bollywood movies just because she said... It was nostalgia because when she was growing up, she had a lot of uh, Indian friends. Her adopted mom also had a lot of uh, Indian friends. And so they would have Bollywood and stuff on the TV. I think one was recently killed trying it. Ooh. Haven't there been people who've died from trying to get penetrated? I know there was a guy... Now, this was a few years ago, though, who who died because he was. Yeah, he tried, he tried to get very friendly with a, a horse. Yeah, and he died from a ru ruptured rectum. I think it was more than the rectum. I think I'm pretty sure it was a. Like, yeah, the rest of his got fucked. So what's a good desk mat to use with the plank? I guess Serica again. I don't know why I was going to use it, to be honest. Oh yeah, we'll do, we'll do Serica again. Avatar Ride at Disney World was awesome, unlike the movie. Well, they needed something to save it from being all terrible. 
I've not been to Disney actually. Land or world. The sad part is the. The older I get, the less interested I am in going. Because I found out that I don't particularly enjoy theme parks. Uh, I don't I don't derive orgasmic reactions from from roller coasters as well as well. I don't hate roller coasters. I just I don't you know like it's like eating uh, Brussels sprouts, right? Or or what's another what's another very neutral vegetable? Let me think. Cause stuff like, actually Brussels sprouts, I say that, but it's not very neutral. I actually dislike Brussels sprouts for the most part. Uh, cabbage, maybe? You know, you're not going to be in love with cabbage. Actually, maybe no. Cabbage? Cabbage? That's some good stuff you can do with cabbage. Uh, what's, what's an example? Lettuce. There we go, lettuce. No one loves lettuce. You don't really hate it either. You know, so if someone wants to go, you know, on a roller coaster ride and you, know, you have to go with me, I'm like, okay. You know, but it's not something I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait to go on a roller coaster. I have to figure out where everything goes. So you get both colors for the space bar included. You don't even have homing keys? What the hell? Use a mouse pad because of 40%. Yes, canvas. Uh, the Rama canvas. Oh yeah, with XDA canvas, right? Fifteen minute drive to Disneyland. I haven't been there since eighth grade. Man, that's kind of the problem with... You know, that's how life works, huh? It's like when you have family or really good friends and you live about 20 minutes away from each other. You're close enough. Yeah. You're far enough where you don't see them very often, but you're close enough to where you don't really care to see them. You know, because you're always thinking, well, I can see them when I want to. So, you know, like, if you're passing by the area, you're never going to contact them or whatever. You're just like, nah, you know. But if you live, you know, like, three hours away from each other, if you're just going somewhere near that area, you're like, hey, man, I'm going to be, you know, and... I'm going to be in Dallas, and when they say I'm going to be in Dallas, they mean like, you know, I'm going to be 45 minutes outside of Dallas or something, and they're like, hey man, you want to you wanna meet up? You know? Uh, or, but if you're both, you know, just in Dallas, but you're like 20 minutes away, you're like, oh yeah, yeah, we should go out together sometime, and you never do that. You never do that. When relatives visit and want to go, I just drop them off. Hey, good on you, see? And, I, I, and it's good that, that your relatives don't try to force you to go as well, or at least you have... The ability to just say no to that. Okay. So I'm going to put the arrows first. Because, I, yeah, I have no idea where everything goes. Can't remember Trump ever cursing in public speeches. Wait, what does this have to do with anything? Did something happen? Food and wine at Disney is where it's... At man, me and the wife did it in the fall, $160, and we ate and drank tons of amazing food. Yes, did you have uh, soy sauce and v vinegar? <laughs> I have to make sure I pronounce that right. But anyway, yeah, my elder brother says the same. He says that the thing he enjoyed the most when he was at Disney World 
was the food. He said the food is absolutely fucking amazing. Uh, I think he told me that I would enjoy the food and the architecture because that's kind of what I would enjoy. You know, I would enjoy just looking at the way things are designed and you know all that stuff. Then actually enjoy. I guess that makes it kind of great for me to go to, right? Because then I wouldn't care so much about lining up for things. Because most people want to do that. Most people want to go for rides and stuff. So, you know, they're going to wait two, three hours in line. Whereas, I guess it makes sense for me to go. Because I'm not going to waste my time with that shit. So, I could just go around and explore just uh, the environment. The, the atmosphere and the way it's set up. And the food. Yeah, I just want to go there. You know, I'm, if I have to spend a week there, I'm going to just spend like three hours just fucking eating. Uh, three days just eating. I think I'd go to Disney World. Disneyland is so tiny. I don't think it's worth it. I actually almost went to Disneyland when I was visiting God in LA. That was initially kind of the plan, but then we didn't end up doing it. Because we were going to go there to get some food, but then we didn't end up going there. Is it Osteria Mozza? Have you been there, PC Love Letter? Osteria Mozza? Wow, look at this. So yeah, this is XDA Canvas. So first time looking at it on stream. Look at this keycap, man. Look at that, yeah. This defect over here, you see that excess plastic? Okay, yeah, so it's kind of like when your skin is peeling off from your fingers, fingertips. Sure, we got rid of it, but there's still, there's still a little bit of a scar there. Must be in LA. Yeah, so it's in LA, but it is the first. Is it the first episode? No, not the first, but maybe it is. But uh, it's on uh, Chef's Table. And so I went to eat there first, and then we watched Chef's Table. And so it's kind of crazy because, yeah, you go there, and then. And then we watched that at, at his apartment, and so I, I watched. A documentary of where I just ate at so it's kind of kind of interesting This is confusing as hell. What is? Okay, so this is here. <laughs> Disney World is so much better. More options. Yeah, I've never been to Florida though. I've only been to three states in the U.S. Like, if you're not uh, cons counting layovers and flights. Yeah. So, California. And I visited California actually around this time, last year. It's been a year. And, yeah. So, Texas, California, and Arkansas. So, yeah, so basically, only one nice state. Okay, so this I'm assuming is backspace. Who even knows anymore? This is tab, maybe? Makes sense. Uh, escape. Escape is this key. 
pretty sure. This is shift. Enters either one of these. I think this. Oh, hold on. No, maybe this is enter. Man, this is what I hate about the Mito icon mods. Okay, so I was wrong, yeah. So this is enter. So enter key over here. So what is this? This is the OS key, what the hell? Okay, so OS key over here. And this is not tab, this is alt. Holy shit, these keycaps are tight. So do not use these in box switches. Or I guess you could, it would loosen them up, right? Anyone anyway, been to Detroit? I'm going there next week. Whoa. Speaking of uh, Detroit and, and yeah, uh, and Flint and stuff like that. So apparently Dallas schools this the, the, the report spe was, was specifically referring to schools but apparently the water there has dangerous or oh, levels of lead well basically any level is dangerous means any amount of lead is pretty bad uh, there's no there's no safe level of lead from what I understand or at least that's what the article said and you know, no, as in technically, of course, there is a safe dosage, of course, right? Yeah. Of course, but as in, in terms of regulations and stuff, there's no federal or state safety level for lead. Like, you should just not have lead at all. That's basically it. And yeah, so apparently Dallas schools have a problem with that. They've detected lead in the water, uh, especially in the drinking fountains. And so, or water fountains, or whatever. And now I'm a bit concerned. I drink tap water here. I didn't drink tap water in Malaysia. I drink tap water here. And, you know, it's funny that apparently, you know, uh, I think regulations are actually better in Malaysia than over here. But anyway, so... <laughs> When I'm worlds right. collide, you can run, but you can hide. When worlds collide, you'll laugh so hard, you'll swear you died. When worlds collide, hold my hand, I'll be your guy. When worlds collide. Mr. Herologist, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you, thank you. Farnia, welcome to the stream. Hi, Anthony, I heard that you're well endowed. Yes. I've received some big endowments. You can see. Uh, you can see that. Cutest lol. Two soldering cameras. Fucking Fred. Devness and Mr. Keats have given me some big endowments. Alex, Talisman Solutions, and Red Hawk as well. Well, I guess I already read Red Hawk. And Russ. Just massive. Yes. Largest of endowments. But yes, welcome. Thank you so much for the raid, Mr. Rologist. Uh Please don't forget, if you are unfamiliar with our good friend, Mr. Rologist, please give him a follow on Twitch. A fun fact. The official Twitch channel of Twitch, which is just called Twitch, Recently followed Mr. Rogers, so you know he's legit. And
So if you don't know what he does, you should definitely watch him. And I say watch because that's what he works on. And, and watches and clocks. From tiny little watches to big black clocks. He does them all. All of them. But yeah, and it's because of him, actually, that... Sort of because of him, right? That I bought an automatic watch a few months ago. I think I bought this Black Friday weekend. And this NATO strap is new for it. So yeah, it's because of him. Yeah, so if you like horology, you like watches, you like just general tinkering... Uh, then definitely watch him. But for this channel, so what happens here is we do custom mechanical keyboards. Uh, so Fridays is when we do a build. We, we build a keyboard with the parts and stuff. Typically keyboard kits. You don't make it out of just scratch or whatever. And, and on Mondays, we unbox keyboard things. Although I'm not streaming this coming Monday, I don't think I have... A lot of schoolwork due the next day, so probably not that. And then, and then on Sundays, I typically do Lego streams, which is why I have a, a Lego shirt right now. Oh, you guys can't really see it, but uh, and then when I'm not doing Lego, then it's going to be video games. PC letter says I put a link to picture of where the keys go. Oh, thanks. Okay. Oh my god. Thanks. Okay, that's great. Okay, this... Oh, I just... Oh, I need to turn off that feature. Oh my god. Okay, so there's a feature for where... Sometimes if you use the... Uh, window snapping. If you snap it a certain way, it shuts off all... It, it not shuts off. It minimizes all your programs. And so I just accidentally did that. So now I have to reopen everything. Oh, so annoying. But yes, thanks so much. Okay. Thank you, thank you. So this is... This is what we're working with. So I need to just look at this. This helps out a lot. Because I was looking at this box for it. No, but why? Why are we using? Oh, that is. So we're supposed to use this key over here. Why? Why is it this color? It's a great tinkers den. Lots of knowledgeable and kind people. Yes, absolutely. And I know that sometimes he has to do uh, mute streams, right? Because of uh, co-workers and stuff. Yeah, Mr. Rologist is definitely the Twitch channel that I watch the most of outside of Dota. So for me, Twitch, I mostly just watch Dota. I don't even watch other games on there. But outside of that, that's where I go to the most. I think, yeah, it would be Mr. Rologist. And after that, it would be... Either Mr. Keebs or, or uh, Dr. WD-40. But yeah, but most of the time, Mr. Rogers. Did that today. I work with like seven windows. So pissed. Wait, what are we talking about? Seven windows? Holy shit, these keycaps are super tight. Oh, wait, you do get homing keys. Okay. Where's my homing J? I've got normal J. Yeah, scooped J. There we go.
Wait. This is supposed to be an OS key. Why is it? Does that mean I have to plug it in to see where it goes? So the layout on here is different from the one in the the Mito render. Okay, so, so this is shift. So none of it's correct. What the hell? Why is this also shift? And this is control. It's alt windows. Why is this also shift? I am so confused. 14 by 71, hey, how's it going? Backlight control alt OS. See, that's the thing. Okay, see, if you look over here. Oh, window snap feature. Okay, okay. Did I think I work on that? Okay, okay. I thought you meant Windows Windows. <laughs> as in like actual Windows. I got so confused. But yes, the Windows snap feature. Yeah, I have to, I have to. I believe there's an option for it to turn that off. Okay, so if you look over here, where my hands are, if I hit the key in the bottom corner, it gives me shift and right shift for some reason. Okay, if you look over here on the box, oh, well, okay, if you look over here in the picture, it says bottom left corner is, and this is the OS key. All right, so Windows or whatever. And then on the box, it says this is supposed to be an FN key or a function key. Yeah, so definitely a little confusing. Wait, YouTube is dead as in, oh yeah, when the world? It is dead. What the hell happened? Default is a shift key that also toggles backlighting modes. Okay. It's still strange though that. Oh man, do you know why this key is control? I will not stop mentioning this. This is like one of the most. Okay, I don't even know if you can find a picture of that, but. Holy fuck, it just, just drives home the, it just, it just reaffirms my disdain for the Mito icons. The thing is, I like icon mods, I like the idea of icon mods, and I have actually quite a few Micon sets, I said the Mito icon, but. But my god, the uh, etymology or whatever of it is so dumb. Let me let me look for. A, uh, is there? A, where where would I go to find that? I'm trying to remember. Was Godspeed the first one? No, right? I think Canvas was the first one of the icon mods. Where would I go to find it? I think it should be in journal and then Okay, here's what I'm looking at Should be here and it should be somewhere So sorry for this mouse. Let me turn off the click. 
Okay, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh my god. There we go. Oh shit. This is a uh, PNG. Okay, we found it. Too much magnification, right? Okay. Wait a minute. Where am I? What have I done? Okay, there we go. Okay. So. The icon convention implemented had to be aesthetic, innovative, and honest. No more valuable than it really is. The language created was thorough, down to the last detail, and no aspect of it was arbitrary or left to chance. To make this tangible, unobtrusive, and understandable symbol... Oh, to make this tangible, unobtrusive, and, under and understandable... Symbols were hand-drawn. This is, this is why you need the comma. I know that it's getting really popular to not have... To cut commas. So, you know, say for example, if I didn't use commas in a sentence, I would do this. Then people would just not have commas there. You know, after the if statement, I think that you should still have those commas. Just so that you, you, people know. So, for example, over here, I would put a comma over here, right? To make this tangible, unobtrusive. And first of all, unobtrusive and understandable. I would also put a comma after unobtrusive because I like the Oxford comma, but that's another debate. To make this tangible, unobtrusive and understandable, comma, symbols were hand-drawn. Because, yeah, right now I thought it was to make this tangible, unobtrusive, and understandable symbols. But anyway, using either two or three geometric elements, as little design as possible. An example of the thought process behind the control icon. Oh, an exa oh so never mind. That wasn't going to say. What the fuck? So, this is actually uh, referring to this. Now, every symbol was developed after the same concept. Oh my god, this writing. Immediate correspondence and object relates to the original legends. That relates to the original legends. So control, he used a controller, like a fucking PS4 and Nintendo, you know, 64 and Xbox controller, and then made it to this. Like you, 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 you get that the control key has nothing to do with a controller, right? You, you, you get that, right? So this, this is why I don't understand almost any of the uh, icons on here. This makes no fucking sense. But anyway. Oh. Yes, infinite scroll is so nice. Control should have been a plus with two dots then. I know, right? It's 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 so infuriating. SNES hieroglyphs. Uh, I wish. I might understand those even more. My lord, this is so goddamn infuriating. See, this is why you should just not this. You should just not have the whole alpha colors and whatever. Like, what? What the hell is this? Just why? Why is? Anyway, so you get these other keys. So we could put the gray here as well, but you know, I'm gonna leave it cream. Throw so one you blank in there. I guess I could. Should I just do that? I should do that, right? Now.
Nis underscore, how's it going? It says, within a sentence, I want to put a hyphen between the words fish and 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 and, and chips. My fish and chips sign have been clear. If quotation marks have been placed before fish, and between fish and end, and 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 chips as well as after chips. Absolutely. Absolutely. These keycaps are super tucked on shit. And this is on Cherry MX, so it's not supposed to be this way. Okay. Funny enough. I want to step but skip the Micons. It's insufferably idiotic to suggest that some scheme Mito dreamed up is either recognizable or universal. I said like the set. Yeah, that's the thing, right? That... Yeah, I would not use the words, yeah, universal and understandable and intuitive to describe... Pretty much all the legends, except for, uh, like the arrows, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, and then, see, here's the thing. This is backspace, so you're like, okay, so this refers to text or something, right? Because you're backspace. Enter, okay, maybe this means enter because text and then you can go down or whatever. Then why is this control? This just means text, right? Or characters. Or does backspace mean Deleting controllers or larger than controller or control? Does this mean under control? Tactical Cadaver says it is infuriating. Welcome to the stream. It's infuriating when they put symbols on things and expect you just to know. WTF, or what the fuck their symbols mean. Yes, uh, and most of the time it's already pretty difficult. That's why I, I already don't like icon mods for the most part because, okay, for example, uh, Android does it really bad. And I said it as someone who uses Android. Uh, like for example, when you're doing copy, paste and stuff like that, where they just have the symbols for copy and paste, like, you know, cut, I get that one pretty easy. Like, you know, you have scissors, okay. Copy is just two pieces of paper, you're like, uh, what, what is that? And then some other icons, and so yeah, so apps that only have icons everywhere, just piss me off so much, because I'm just like, what the hell, this is why old people can't use their phones, this is why old people struggle with technology, it's, just, it's supposed to be intuitive, but really it's not, it's like, what the fuck does this even mean? Tally says, I think it's a case of his staring at it so long that it became too familiar to him. Yeah, that is always a problem, isn't it? Tactical Cadaver says, Android is terrible for that. Also, that's a nice name, by the way. Uh, Windows has started to use icons too. Yep, it, it, it annoys me so much. I'd matter, much rather just have text. Because at least I can fucking understand it. Uh, and it's not just Windows as well. A lot of other apps... Uh, programs. I, I also I hate that they call they, they're starting to call all programs apps. That pisses me off too. But anyway, um, but that's more of a you know like get off my lawn type of argument. So we won't get into that. But uh, you know stuff like Microsoft Office or you know any kind of Photoshop style things. Uh, it's especially bad for anything that's recently made. Uh, any kind of web based. Uh, tools and, and stuff like that where, you know, almost everything by default are just icon mods. And these are, and at least with say stuff like Android where, you know, you really you're just using copy and paste and cut and stuff like that. And he's little letter says my Android phone just says copy. Now a lot of stuff just says copy. Uh, I, I know that now Google keyboard just says copy, but I mean stuff like, hold on. So I can find an example, but I mean as in, because um, yeah. So for example, Google keyboard just says copy, but I'm trying to think of an example where it would just be an icon. But there's a lot of those. Uh, if someone can, if someone can, like, I'm not gonna waste time looking at my phone. But when you see it, you will see it. 
Now that I mentioned. But anyway, yeah, so at least with copy paste functions, you know, okay, it's just those functions. It's not too horrible to try and figure all that out. Oh, share is another one that took me the longest time to figure out that that's a share button. Because uh, I think now people, there are all these different uh, operating systems and, and programs and apps have kind of converged on kind of the same icon for share. But before that, share had lots of different icons. And holy shit, so you're just like, where the fuck is the share button? Where is the share button? You know, I'm trying to just copy a link and it's not like it's on. Uh, it's not like it's a website where you can just fucking just copy the, the URL bar. It's like, where the hell is the share button? And then, oh, it's just this one button that is super inconspicuous. You just completely miss it when you're scrolling and you just don't see it. And yeah, it's supposed to be the share button. You're just like, what the hell? And don't get me started on the share page, the share options. In Android, holy shit, it is so bad. Like, why can't, when I just click share, when I hit share, why can't the default option be copy URL or copy link or whatever? Why do you give me all these, like, you know, you're just arranging all these apps seemingly at random. And it takes so long to load up too. But anyway. Oh, uh, app triggering. Sounds like you and I will get along. Yes. I also like uh, cadavers and military grade ones oh, hold on let's see this is thing called alphabet which was invented because people drawing their version of a lion or dog cable okay, too subjective no the thing is the thing is some things make sense to make into icons like i get the icons are definitely important and it's it's why you know if you ask me i prefer icon mods to text mods from a design standpoint i think that they absolutely are good icons and that there is a way or i absolutely believe there is a reason for icons to exist i just think that most need to be done better right like and you know stuff like a winding road and you know you see the sign for it you don't you know you can kind of understand it for the most part you see you're like okay i kind of get it uh or you know of course there are some that are more confusing stuff like the stop sign you know it's like that was something that we had to all agree and you know, all of society had to agree. Okay, that's going to be our stop sign. We're going to all agree to use that as a stop sign. Uh, well, actually, no. Stop sign just says stop, right? So, no, no entry. No entry, for example. Like, we all have to agree. Okay, this will be no entry. And everywhere in the world, we're going to stick to this. And so, okay, you know, like, we all have to decide on something. But, okay, we decided on something. Uh, but stuff like, yeah, slippery road or something, you know, like, it, it's kind of intuitive. And you see, like, oh, I get it now. It's a winding road or it's slippery. Ah, or, you know, like when you have the uh, caution wet floor signs where they have, you know, a guy slipping or whatever. You're like, ah, I get it. Right. I can kind of see it's a little shiny, you know, and I see that sign. I'm like, okay, it's slippery. Right. So that's a good icon. Um, this shit. What the fuck does this even mean? Right. Yeah. There are some icons where you're like, okay, that makes sense. You know? Uh, but yeah, but then other ones, you're just like, what the hell is that? Like, you know, the save icon. A few years ago, it made perfect sense, right? The disc, the floppy disk icon. You know, now it doesn't make as much sense for people that like, they know it's a save button just because of memory, just because they're used to it. But kids, and like, you know where it comes from? No fucking clue. They've never seen a floppy disk. Although if they're Catholic, they might have seen a floppy disk. Uh, but... <laughs> <laughs> ah no um anyway back to the let's see <laughs> default action for share would be nice apparently that's coming in android o did they say what o is gonna stand for already no wait not o sorry not o q my bad o comes before p holy shit i need to go back to let me go back to pre-k uh Q, Android Q apparently fixes that. <laughs> I hate that. I have to get corrected. Yes, it is Q. Yes. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I thought I said Oreo. Did they decide on, wait, Oreo, right? What the hell am I talking about? Just be a sheep and throw money at him. I 
Icons that's used within programs can be silly if they're not accompanied by the tool tip text. Yes, technical cadaver, that's what I was saying just now, and then I got sidetracked. Yeah, so on Android, at least it's not so bad because, or at least the copy paste function is not so bad because, you know, there's really just three options, right? Cut, copy, and paste. Not all terrible, and then it's share as well. You know, not all terrible. Annoying thing is, of course, you can't hover over them to figure them out. Because at least, you know, on desktop, like you said, you know, if you put your cursor over it, okay, it gives, it tells you what it is. You're like, okay. But on a touch screen, you're just like, what the fuck did I just hit? I have no idea. Oh, it did a thing. Uh, but, and then you get into proprietary software and things like that, where there are very specific functions. For example, something like a, like a free version of Photoshop on, that's web-based. You know, they'll have all these icon mods and you're just like, what the hell do they mean? I have no idea. Yeah, you're just like, what the fuck? And yeah, it's all just icons and you just have no idea. As a computer programmer for over four decades across literally thousands of systems and hundreds of architectures, come to the conclusion that every designer slash engineer has at least one universal and logical user interface that they're promoting that's either that's neither logical nor universal. Yeah, I mean, it's basically everyone trying to come up with a standard. They're like, oh man, all these standards suck. So let's make a new standard. And hope that everyone supports that. And so, you know, because enough people think they can make the best standard out there, we have so many conflicting standards. But anyway, back to the plank. So it works. I, I, I don't really know how to do a typing test on this thing because I can't type on this, on this thing. Oh my God, see, I already messed up. Uh, Fun fact, on the Atreus, I had a nine, I, I had a record of nine words per minute. This is the Atreus, so also ortholinear, but yes, so nine words per minute, absolutely amazing. That's why I've never used it since. Can't be bothered to try and practice on it. Too old for that shit. Okay. See, this is so weird. Oh my god. How? How do people type on this thing? Nope. Oh my god, that is so infuriating that the enter key is down here. It's... I, I can type faster on the on those stupid uh smart TV apps where you have to use a remote control to just press arrows to move the <laughs> this is like the letter holy shit this is so bad oh man don't get me started on those things on screen keyboards why is there no standard for on screen keyboards so some of them where you know you have to use a controller or a remote to, to select the letters some of them use the QWERTY layout. And so I'm gonna use the fucking just alphabetical order. Why? Why did why do they do that? And so different apps will have different ones. Just, just why? You should raise mouse is fine. Oh no. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna type in numpad. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to just pretend I'm typing. I'm just going to good enough for me. You will see that I'm typing two keys at once a lot.
Yeah, you definitely need to relearn a lot of things. I think it would be useful if you paired Ortholinear with a change in keyboard layout. I said, you know, do Comac or or something, anything. Cause then you basically you're basically relearning everything. I think that would be a great start. Uh, but yeah, I personally would avoid doing QWERTY on it just cause yeah, it's. I'm hitting the middle of the key so much. Holy shit. Red Hawk, thank you so much for being here. Have a good night. I hope you have sweet dreams of this plank. Can you see you do a typing test on this? I mean, I could if you want. Let's do type racer. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. See, I can't even hit enter on this thing. But hey, in type racer, you don't have to hit the enter key, so maybe we could actually win. All right. Oh shoot, we didn't get disqualified. We didn't get cut. So when I was typing on the Atreus, I got a notification. I got a pop-up saying that we're sorry, but we have to stop you right there, buddy. And you know, they're like, you know, you're too slow. Cause it's nine words per minute. They're like, get down, better luck next time. We're gonna have to end the race right here. Uh, you know, sorry about that. Hey, we actually completed the race. Wait, why am I fifth? What the fuck? Someone else also at 25 words per minute. All right, so let's look at our stats. You can see that almost every one of them have I or O in them. That's what was tripping me up a lot. Uh, look at these fucking hackers. You know, it's, this, this is, you know, 25 words per minute. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Honestly, terrible work. Let's see, what was the act? Did they have a, a detailed stats breakdown? Hey, 5.4 percentile. <laughs> Skill level beginner. Where is the... Oh wait, you can. Oh my god, you can you get to watch a replay? I didn't even know you could do this. <laughs> oh my god, look at the struggle! Look at the look at the goddamn struggle. This is so painful. Oh man.
Man, I still ended with about 88% accuracy. That's not bad. No, it's bottom 5.4%. <laughs> More victory if you don't place last. Nope. Uh, for some reason, I, I, I did not place last. I don't even know how. Or, for some reason, I placed last. Yeah. This fourth place was also 25 words per minute. Here's the Voriak layout. Three separate times for about 24 months each time. Finally went back to Cordy as I realized that all Voriak did, really did, was exclude me from using someone else's machine or machines that only support Cordy. Yeah, I mean, that's that's why I've resigned to just using Cordy as well. Like, I know it could be better. Uh, I believe Comac is actually a better layout, though, than... Voriak, because that's what my... I have a good friend that uses Comac. But yeah, it, yeah, it stops you from using other people's stuff. And other people... Can, I guess it, maybe it's a plus if other people can't use your things. And boot beat bet. Hey, welcome to the stream. My fellow Dota fan. Whoops. Wrong thing. If almost everything was Voriak. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Also, how is that even pronounced? Hold on. Okay, Google, how do you pronounce D V O R A K? That's pronounced Dvorak. See, because well, I used to work in the music library on campus, and so I knew a lot of people from you know, classical music, the classical music program, and it was not pronounced that way. Hold on. It's, it's spelled the same way, right? Oh my god. Antonin Dvorak. Yeah, it's pronounced. It has a different pronunciation to it. Oh my god, you know what? I'm not. I'm... Let me see if I can find. Nazdravi. What in the world? Today I'd like to tell you about the pronunciation of the name of my favorite Czech composer, Antonin Tvořák. See? So this was what I heard when I was first exposed to this combination of letters. Okay, that's it. You just heard it. You're fine. <laughs> no, but seriously, most exact conversation. I'm going to start from the back. The first bit then Let's start from the back. Get what I mean. is that A with an accent on it. Now you might see the accent and think, okay, so that's where the stress is. No, nope. stress is Bojack. always on the first Horseman. syllable in Czech. That accent just means that it's not A, ah, it's A, ah, it's longer. Now here's the thing. That vowel ah, is sort of halfway between. Probably going to want to say ak or ak. Well, that's fine if you can't manage to say ak. Say ak and people will find it quite close enough in English conversation. Next bit, that r, that r with a hatchack on it. So what do you do? Do you go to the hatchack and pick it up? Okay, lame joke. Czech people are really, really proud of this inordinately difficult letter to pronounce. It takes even Czech kids years to learn how to say. So you can expect that Anglophones are generally not gonna nail it down. That's all right. If you want to know how to say it, well, Lucky me, I go in for cheap trills. Literally trills. Start with rrr, then move your tongue forward. Rrr, rrr. Did you know that you control the right on the tip of your teeth? Rrr. Well, that is not this. It's halfway between them. Right on the palate. Rrr. Only it's not usually trilling so aggressively. It just becomes a fricative. Rrr, rrr. You notice how I tend to jot my jaw forward? I don't think the Czech speakers always jot their jaws forward when doing it, but I have to accommodate my particular habits of speech. So, uh, now, if you're an ordinary English speaker and you don't want to go around saying, uh, just say, er plus ja. So, ja. 
Dvorak. 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 See? See ya. So that's the pronunciation that's in my head. So whenever I hear people say Dvorak, I'm just... Right, right, right. <laughs> Kiva Leo guys, American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just saying that that's why, that's why I'm confused. Because, cause yeah, you know, my first exposure to that word, it's like, you know, the OG is better, or, you know. It's kind of like music as well, where, you know, if you if you heard a cover of a song first, you're more inclined to like the cover more than the original when you finally hear the original. Do not give that guy any caffeine. Well, I, I, I was playing it at five, uh, <laughs> 1.5 speed. Dvorak, Dvorak. But yeah, so in, uh, yeah, in the music school, they were all call it this way. And yeah, it was a very famous composer. And so I would always hear it. And yeah. And Cause people come in like, hey, do you have, a, you know, like, do you have any scores for Antonin Dvorak? Or, yeah, but no, they're, 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 they're educated. Dvorak, what? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm glad I'm glad people here call it Dvorak because I cannot roll my R's. Uh, I pronounce my R's differently from uh, most people here. I had to when so you know I was talking about music school. I so my senior year I actually took a classical voice course. So it was an hour credit, uh, one credit hour, but <laughs> it, it definitely took more than one hour. Uh, it was more like a it was more like a three hour class, but I'm from Boston, so I don't even pronounce R's, dude. That's why I keep thinking I should just move to Boston. I would fit right in, cause I cannot roll my R's. I can't pronounce my R's properly. I should just go there. Uh, but yeah, so in, in in that voice class, almost the whole semester, I was just working on how to pronounce the long the E vowel, because the reason why a lot of uh, Chinese people. I don't know about Koreans and Japanese, but a lot of Chinese people or people who speak Chinese have issues with the long E vowel because we pronounce our E vowel completely different. You're supposed to, in Latin based languages or whatever, you would say E with the tongue kind of on the lower lip, sort of, and the tongue is kind of curled forward, and it's a very forward sounding vowel, but in Chinese, we would just pronounce it as E, and so it's sharp, it's backward. You hear the vowel, you know, sort of backward, and it's a very sharp, uh, almost unpleasant sound. And so, yeah, I had to fix that. And so, you know, I still struggle with it. Like, I still, it's almost still like manual breathing for me, where, you know, I have to, whenever I come up to a, an E vowel in, in a song, or whatever, I have to m consciously move my tongue forward and shit like that. Uh, I didn't go to music school, but I did take a music course. So no, uh, but I did. If I hadn't moved to America, I would have, I would still be singing and performing on stage and stuff like that. Bastan. Pack your car. Yeah, I would. I would fit right in, you know. I like if, if we need to get rid of the R vowel, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Cause yeah, I can't roll my R's, and uh, yeah, I'm glad I don't live in Spain. Or I'm glad I don't have to go to Spain. Yeah, can't do it. It's why I really hate the word worlds. Oh, that. It, it blows my mind that that, that that that's a word just why why do you have an R an L a D and an S arranged in that order just why see this is why this is why Dota had it right they just call it the international instead of worlds you know where Fucking half the your your pop, you know your gamer population can't even fucking pronounce that word. I'm going to pray at the wall, the the wall, the woods, woods, 
You can... Why? Why? Okay, so I, let's let's. Okay, so this is the plank. You can see it's low profile. It's got a steel ca uh, steel plate. So it sits on top of the case. It doesn't sit inside it. So just something to keep in mind. So, so there is a high profile version. So I think maybe the so the plate for the high profile version is gonna be different because it the bezels will have to be smaller so that the case can fit over it. Uh, but I mean, yeah, mass chop and OLKB. I thought this stream was gonna be less than two hours, but already past three hours. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay, so that was it. If you have any other questions. Go ahead and ask them. I'm going to run the credits and look for someone to raid. And again, Raiders from Mr. Horologist. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Mr. Horologist, for the raid. Really appreciate it. So many tabs. Food run, damn. Okay, so I think we're just gonna raid set to build. He is also part of the brick building community or the Lego streamer community. And so, over too soon back to finding a movie. Well, uh, oh, what was that one? Is it? The big short. Has anyone here seen that? Apparently it's pretty good. I haven't seen it. Thanks for streaming. Well, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you everyone for being here. Thank you, Japanese Horror Rider for the cheer. Uh, followers, Nis underscore, 234A823. ZVG, Yoda Droid. Yep, thank you for the follows and the resubs. Purple, Long Cutie Pie, Red Hawk, Crippled. Thank you, thank you. I hope everyone has a good rest of the weekend. And let's initiate the raid. I'm not gonna type it here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess it up. So Sunday, I don't think I'll do a Lego build. Um, might do video games. I don't know, we'll see. But I don't think I'll be streaming on Monday. So if I don't see you on Sunday, then I will see you next Friday. And yeah, so for the presentation, actually, so I, I, I hate that it's even a, a, a thing we have to do, but uh, so so just real quick, you know, uh, what the professor wants us to do is because she had us read Utopia by Thomas More, so this is a political science class, but she's more political philosophy, whatever. Uh, and so we're supposed to come up with our version of our American dream or utop our Utopia and and so we have to give a three minute presentation on it with a red paper on it and then we have to critique it using all these thinkers you know like thomas more plato aristotle socrates uh, machiavelli and all these things right and so what i'm thinking is i'm thinking of dressing up as kim jong-un so again you know i did that uh three years ago, three, four years ago for Halloween. Sadly, this is a spring semester. If this were fall, this would have made perfect. This would have been perfect. But, so I'm thinking of uh, describing the North Korean empire as my utopia, and I'm gonna present it as Kim Jong-un. You know, all I have to do is just, and now that I have the hair for it, you know, I just have to part it down the middle. It's not a dystopia, okay? It's a utopia where you le where the supreme leader doesn't even sh take a shit. Isn't that amazing?
Have you seen that? Yes, I have. I have with the Kim Jong-un binoculars. I have seen that one. Super good. But yeah, so I'm thinking of doing that. Uh, I don't know how they will respond to it, but hey, might as well try it. But okay, so yes, everyone here, let me start the rain and then I'll say bye to everyone. So Talisman Solutions, thank you so much for being here. PC load letter, crippled, eat the rich. 14 by 71, Nis underscore, Tefram, Boop Beep Bet, Bliss 9, uh, Tactical Cadaver. And of, also, of course, you know, welcome all the new people. Uh, I, there are a lot of new names today, so thank you, thank you everyone for being here. Uh, yes, so I will see you all next time. Or on Set to Build's channel. Goodbye.